Okay guys, welcome back to Robobon 2 Cross version. This is your host, Chisel Chill speaking, the only one that you love, of course. And we're back, finally, to Robobon 2. The last episode, we got the player rank, rank number 4. And we finally destroyed Mr. Gate. Finally, he went down. Yes! Now, before we start this episode, I'm going to start with my usual setup at my alarm. Well, not alarm, but stopwatch. And, okay, now that we're done with that, uh, I mean, this, in this episode, we're going to start our new search in this new area, the other side of the castle, by going to the part shop. Um, so they have new parts here, and of course, like I always tell you to, you want to go to the shop and buy new items to upgrade. Um, right, so we bought this Merc Sword, we're going to put it on Mr. Bolton. we also not going to upgrade, um, so, but we want to upgrade Sun Zero. And what is it? He's an arm punch, right, right? Right, arm punch. And what do they have for arm punch? They have an eye knuckle. So we get that and we whoops, not go back to buy it, but zap punch. There we go. Wait, is this one? Okay, yeah, yeah. I was about to say it's is it that one? Anyways. How much money do we have? That's a bit of crappy stuff that we might need. Not need. Okay. Some of that, some of that, and some of that. We're gonna buy a ray tool. Now, can we actually afford it? It's, it's 8,320. We have. Alright, 21,000, so we could afford that. And that's about it. Now, it's very expensive, and you might ask yourself, but Chisel, you have already one. You already have one. Yeah, I know. But now I have two. And this is what two do. Uh, where's it? Right? And we get electric and virus. So, vi you know what virus does, obviously. And, yeah, that's pretty much it on that part. Um, actually, we want to sell some items from parts. Just to make some of our, our money back. So I think we want to sell most of these items. Uh, let me see. This. And yeah. Alright. Not too bad. Now we want to go to the item shop. Maybe we have some things to sell there. And here's this critter. Whoops. Ah, keep pressing the B button. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll sell this for some extra money. Uh, I think that should be it. You know, uh, we're actually gonna buy two escapes. So these work like escape ropes and some oil. All right. You know, you never know when you could go wrong with you never go wrong with items and we want to go and explore this area but now we can actually access the castle so let's talk to this critter poor w king he has to deal with that delicate riffraff huh delicate riffraff w king is at least 100 times cooler than that lamer deli king ah so I know I didn't go much into when we visited the other castle, but these two hate each other, and they have a rivalry going on, so we gotta find out why in our journey to get our number three rank. So that guy's sleeping, works overtime to go home and play video games. Why do people dislike... I don't know. Sorry, I was just thinking of something else. It's because of the accident that happened 20 years ago. I don't really know. Huh. So something must have happened 20 years ago that caused these two to hate each other. This is the library. Now, as you guys saw, 
we're not gonna train Bolton. At least not this episode. Um, he'll probably be um on par with our roll puns in the next episode. So just keep that in mind. And let's keep talking to these random kids. Uh, the king is not well. Please leave now. Ah, uh, no! Bunch of weirdos. So, Prince Romeo hasn't come back lately. Is he with a bad crown? What? That makes no sense. The proof of friendship from Deadly King was lost 20 years ago. W King still regrets it. What proof of friendship? What is he talking about? Huh, that is some strange things. Uh, alright, so we'll keep exploring this place. I don't know if there's much to do right now, actually. Don't mention Delhi in front of. Delica in front of him. What? I wonder why I'm just standing here. Well, that's. An interesting question. That's the first steps of those. He's asleep. And I think there's some items around here. Yeah, there we go. So I think we could sell that for some more money. Um, those are boost, uh, stat boosters, but we don't really need them in this game in general, so we just sell them for money. How about a battle before we eat? <laughs> Alright. Sounds about yummy. Bomb appetit. So that is a motorcycle apparently. <laughs> and I think that's the evolution of... Um, oh. Alright. We're gonna start with some quake here. Ah, oh, no. That sucked. So we're gonna do electricity. Some decent damage and some stone. Alright. And the hippon attacks. I think this is the evolution of um what you call it. The grasshopper, there we go. Boom and boom. Anyways, we're gonna take out the Hippon and it's game over for this critter. And we get 756 EXP with Sun Zero's level up and 1000 close. Might as well have been 1000 gold. I sure ate it. I'll serve this one, this up for you. And we get a gold battery. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, we're gonna revive my. Alright, and let's. Heal up, why not? I think that was a waste, but whatever. We're not doing much harsh battling in this episode, so it doesn't hurt. Uh, I think we visited that and let's go back. So it seems that there really isn't much to do here. So we're gonna get out of this castle, it was nice and all, but with this in mind, now we could actually explore the other castle. Now, before we unlocked this castle, we couldn't actually explore the other castle, so now we can, obviously. By me saying that, we can. Anyways, let's heal up and. Huh. This is obviously not the place I was looking for. But, anyways. Anyways, how are you guys? You know, I was like talking to you. It is July 12th today, it's about to rain here in the city of New York, and yeah, 20 years, huh, talking about some friendship again, um, now let's visit the Delhi town again, and hey, look at this, so this is the event that I needed to trigger in order to access this event now. Now this event we could actually access it anytime, anywhere. Well, not anywhere, but anytime. Okay. Sorry, Cody. I didn't mean to keep you waiting. I built this with the memory chip you brought me. Look at it. It looks like a coffin where I die. 
I call it custom Cody's customized time machine. This baby will let you fire back and forth through time and space. But unfortunately, it's not that simple. The chip was a little old, so this is a running time machine. <sighs> let me explain. I couldn't make one like in the movies where you just flip a switch. In order to use a running time machine, you have to run. Do you understand the procedure now? You can run the time machine on any runaways you find. Just to the recap. Just to recap. To travel through time, run, run, a, run on a runaway. It's yours now, Cody. Yes, so we acquired the time machine. I was just, I was going to go back in time to relieve Lisa's childhood days, but oh, speaking of awe, what did Lisa have to say? I would have talked with her before leaving, but she wasn't around anywhere. I was worried at first, but I realized she probably came to see you. Heh. <laughs> She didn't come here? Not good. What's going on? I... If you see her... No, don't worry. Uh, hey! Did you know Deadly King is a champion, friend? He must be busy taking care of his daughter's wedding situation. Taking care of a daughter is no easy task. Trust me. See you later, Cody. So yes, the king of Delhi castle is a champion. Champion. Every time they mention a new rank, you know that's the next rank. Rank 3 champion? So let's go on it right now. So this is his castle. So how about we explore before we take a visit to Mr. Deli King? A uh, neat boat. Knit boat comes from sparkling cool and tough batteries. So that apparently, I mean, that is obviously the boat, the little boat. If you want it, just get a cool and rough battery. Uh, no, we don't want to go here. Yet. So there is a, that is a, sh that is a place where you could use. Where, uh, that is a place where we could access later. Um, it's a boat, and it takes us to a nice place that isn't so nice. Later, later. Um, I'm going in circles, so I apparently don't know where I'm going. I think it's around here, actually. But let's check this place out. He's been asleep for like 20 hours. Why not just go home? Maybe he just wants to sleep in the castle with money inside and it looks nice, you know? The scholars are trying to locate the Elliot. The Elite. But each scholar has a different theory. Do you know that the Elite owns a circus? What? I heard that the CEO, CEO of the Macroland is the Elite. I've discovered that the Elite is an alien. Ah, I see. The Elite is hiding inside the pyramid. So apparently there's an Elite rank. I think. If I remember from my previous playthroughs of this game. So here's the Deli King, the champion rank. There's just no way my daughter will not marry the Prince of Wonder. I won't forgive W King. Absolutely not. Nobody would approve this. It's bad enough you stole her heart. But marriage? W King had 20 years and still no apology. Now he expects me to just give my daughter into his family? I think not. But father, that's... No, Julia, don't say a word. I'll discuss marriage no longer. Using our strong military and intellect intelligence, I finally found the X-Stone tomb. We must work fast. I need to gain elite status as soon as possible. Then I'll be ready for the master challenge. Romeo, I can't give you Juliet away when I'm not even friends with your father. If he still had the proof of friendship that I gave him 20 years ago, then I might consider your plans. But everyone knows that W King lost the proof of, proof of friendship. He won't even say he's sorry. That jerk. <laughs> Tell you what. If you somewhat find the proof of friendship, things will be different. I'd let you two kids get married. I'd even open the passage so that Wander and Delhi were one castle again. <laughs> 
So how about it? Will you find it, Romeo? I didn't think so. But that isn't fair. That's an impossible mission. My father's such a baby. He just won't drop that what happened 20 years ago. If only Romeo could find the proof of friendship. If he doesn't find it, then there's no chance for us. What to do? How dare you? How dare he actually ask? Not me. I'm not gonna marry her. Although she's kind of cute and she has kind of money. No, I'm not a gold digger. Uh, how dare he actually ask to marry my daughter? The nerve of some people. He was completely out of line. Don't you agree? It's not easy being king. Whoops. Didn't mean to misclick. Anyways. That is some crazy, crazy things. Apparently the Mr. Romeo and Juliet is um not only cheesy because it's out of um, a book. Hence the name. Romeo and Juliet, which is kind of copying-ish, but it's kind of unique. In a sense. Yeah. So, our Romeo friend actually ran in here. Romeo from Wonder Castle came through here just a while ago. Was he using Underground Passage? 20 years ago, it led to Wonder Castle. But it's just a basement now. <laughs> Why'd he come by? This is going to bother me all day now. I'm sure he'll come out soon. So this is a relatively close cave. Short cave. So it's Lake Kiri. <coughs> There's just no way. I'll never find the proof of friendship. People have been searching for 20 years. None of them have found it. But if I can't, then Deadly King will stay mad. And the battles between Julia and I will mean be meaningless. Delica and Wonder had a good relationship until 20 years ago. After the proof of friendship was lo stolen, I thought it was lost. <laughs> they disowned each other. If there were no bad feelings, Juliet and I could finally marry. It's, it's a shame we have to hide our feelings and sneak off to Lake Kiwi. Why us? If only we could put an end to this feud. And there's Juliet. I thought I'd find you here, Romeo. Father is even angrier than usual. Maybe our relationship was impossible all along. Romeo, maybe this just wasn't meant to be. That's not true, Juliet. Don't talk like that. But where do you think the proof of friendship is? They've searched the world over. And wait, I know. Right here, inside Lake Kirin. Nobody ever searched underwater. I'll search Lake Kirin and find it. That is a bold statement. <laughs> I know. It's here. I won't give up. Uh, aha. Here's something heavy. It must be the proof of friendship. Boy, this kid is desperate, isn't he? Julian and uh, Cody, give me a hand. Wait, how do you know my name? I didn't even tell you. Help me pull this. Uh, how do you know my name? So, that's kind of iffy and creepy, but right. So close. Just a little more. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Juliet animation. That is so hilarious. Uh, is that a telescope with what is that? Soil or dirt or shit? You know. Uh, that was pretty random. And I'm dead. And apparently that's the animation of picking me up. <coughs> you missed me. Yeah. That is a terrible voice. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I should, I should really make a good voice. <laughs> you may be the player, but with this flood and everything, I don't care what title you want. Look at all the trouble you caused us. We're so Smell my boots. I don't care who you are. You rotten criminal. In the name of Delica, soldiers, arrest this boy. Put him under detainment. No, this is far too serious for that. Send him to Gus prison. Perhaps he can better reflect on his crimes there. No, not prison. And we teleport to Gus prison. And welcome guys to the next area of the game. Gus prison. Apparently we'll go to prison for something we haven't done. And we're a actually innocent. Free activity time. 
You may leave the cell. Take this chance to meet your fellow inmates. Someone, some are just looking for trouble. Though, be careful. Return to your cell after free time and don't try anything funny. Any funny business. If you're not here by lockdown, we'll take matters into our own hands. Don't break the rules, just wait for the verdict. It must be bothering, waiting for Delhi King to sentence you to death. To death? Are you serious? To death. I'm gonna die, get killed. No way. Anyways, that's all the time we have. I know this is probably not much progress. At least in terms of chill chill style. But this is all the time we have for today. And yeah, apparently we're in the prison stuck. What are we gonna do for next episode? I don't know. We're gonna have to get out of this prison. Anyway, this has been your host, Chizzle Chill, Speakies, and thanks for watching, guys, and take care. I'll see you guys next time. Well, we'll probably get out of prison. Peace.